Hey everybody, welcome to another Monday Reviews. Uh, today, we're going to talk about some more comp stuff. And we're talking about fake comp stuff. Well, fake-ish. So, this is a PRC-148 uh, replica battery, battery, replica radio box. Um, it's designed to look and feel and have the shape of a Thales PRC-148, but it doesn't do anything uh, as far as the external is concerned. Uh, all these buttons are just uh, rubber molded on. Uh, that's just like a sticker. It says Thales, so it looks nice. Compared to old battery boxes, this, this is a huge step up. Um, the quality of the plastic is a lot better than the older ones. Uh, the molded buttons on the side is quite nice compared to older battery boxes. Same with the fake uh, data port here. And even you see here, you've got the uh, fake battery. And it's got like a little sticker to talk about charge life or anything. And then you've got your NS, fake NSN labeling and all that stuff. That's actually pretty nice. Older boxes didn't even have half that stuff. So quality wise... It's not too terrible. I, I kind of dig it. You've got your movable dials here that are kind of nice. The antenna does nothing. It's just for looks. Uh, so I've got a fake whip right here. So as you can see, uh, there's nothing in there. It's just a hollow void with some thread. Uh, this is a fake uh, relocation cable. Same thing. Threaded on the inside and it's threaded. So this, you know, obviously interfaces with this whip or even with that broadband. And then it would go into the antenna port there. So biggest downfall with this is the antenna port so far. The older battery boxes, this antenna port, this faux antenna port, uh, like this one's hollow, you could pass through something if you needed to. Uh, the older boxes, uh, this was a area where you would want to pass through a real antenna. Uh, you don't need to do that with this, and I'll show you why in a moment. But this sucks because this thread pitch and this are not even close to the same. So you see that? I just... On and off, it kind of catches a little bit here and there, but there's it just doesn't. So in order to make this function together, I'm going to have to uh, do some uh, airsoft ingenuity, put something in there to kind of tighten it up if I want to make it even look like it's functional. So that sucked when I got that. Um, it should have worked, but it doesn't. But that's neither here nor there because it doesn't do shit. I can super glue the fucker on. It doesn't matter. But I'm not going to because I don't need to. This is the cool part. So, you get back here. You pop this off. Inside is a Baofeng. This is the PTT. So, this is a Tax Guy PTT. I actually talked about this PTT. Um, or just showed it in my uh, video for my TRI 152. And this PTT actually activates the Baofeng. So this box has a functional six pin that goes from a wire down lead into a two pin Kenwood that goes into the Baofeng radio. That is actually pretty cool. That I liked. So if you're trying for that mil semi radio look and you just don't have the money or want to drop the money on a real radio like a TRI or something and you already have a Baofeng and you don't want to do some weird shit, this is a good option. Uh, because you can run a six pin PTT, replica PTT to it, and still activate your Baofeng radio from inside this box. Uh, you get this nubby little antenna that comes with it. 
and goes on the bow thing. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Uh, range isn't terrible. It's pretty kind of cool uh, for what it is. I, I like it. Uh, I got it for a project that kind of didn't really work out for that project. But I bend it and now it looks like it might actually pan out for a totally separate project and be my uh, stand in until I can get a, a, a TRI uh, 148. And then I'll just I'll probably put it on my son's kit or uh, it'll be a backup radio for friends if they want to come out and play or whatever. Needless to say, uh, not a bad thing, not a bad item. A little overpriced in my opinion. But uh, the price, I think, had everything to do with the fact that it has a functional uh, NATO 6-pin going into uh, Kidwood 2-pin down lead that goes into the bow thing. That is probably where all the price went into it. However, like I said, the actual externals of this mock faux radio, not too bad, considering I've seen a lot worse. Biggest complaint, biggest gripe though, is the antenna, the antenna port. Um, it takes this faux broadband perfectly. It does not take this uh, relocation at all. And if I recall, I don't believe it liked the whip. Yeah, it didn't like the whip either. It just kind of big, big floppy dick, just rap, 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 like a hot dog down a hallway. So that kind of sucked. So I'd have to do some uh, airsoft surgery and do some airsoft ingenuity to get uh, the whip to interact with it or the uh, faux relocation cable. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, it works perfectly fine with its intended fake broadband antenna, uh, and that is what really matters and if I was just like desperate and was like fuck it I just need a rate antenna on there to make it look cool and make it look right bam done looks cool looks right that's all this we need so I hope you got something out of this video if you've been looking at these weird uh battery boxes that are um quote unquote functional now you've seen one, and now you know that they do function. Uh, they're not the greatest, but they're not the worst. Definitely a lot cheaper than getting a TRI radio. So if you already have one of these guys sitting around, and you want to make use of it, and you don't want to buy another radio, uh, this is a much cheaper option than getting a TRI radio and buying a whole new thing. I appreciate uh, your views. I appreciate all your comments. If you want to know more information about any of this, uh, please hit me up. I will put a description uh, below notating where I got everything, uh, except for the Balfang. I've had this for years. I don't even remember where I got it anymore. Uh, you can find these all over Amazon and eBay. Uh, but I will notate where I got all the other components and uh, links and the whatnot, how much I paid. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Get out there. Play some Airsoft. Make some cool kits. Share them with me. Love to see him. Take care, y'all.